week, we're going to do a bit of a different video. We've got the vision from Sunseeker behind us. It's Dad's. He had it on the wait list for ages. He's had it for a few months, taken it out a few times. So we thought, hey, let's do a walkthrough, what we like, what we don't like. I say we as if it's mine, but what he doesn't like really and what he loves. So the vision, we'll start with the front and then we'll walk through. Let's go. First up, it's a vision VH14, which means it's a 14 foot. So we'll start at the very front. Uh, the tow hitch on a lot of modern caravans now, you don't have the ball. Uh, you've got this one here, and it's a DO35. Uh, most off-road caravans have it now, or camper trailers. It's the uh, the bar set uh, by manufacturers. And I tell you what, I've driven or towed uh, with the ball. I've towed with the Treg, and I've towed with this, and this is bar uh, superior. All right, you know the wiring part plugs? Uh, you've got your 12 pin. And then you've got two, you've got your brake controller, and then you've got your Anderson plug uh, for your, your charging of the inside in the electrics, which we'll go into a little bit later. All late model caravans obviously come with your breakaway, and that's attached to your tow bar. So if somehow that your caravan becomes unhitched, this thing breaks, automatically puts the brakes on the caravan, it stops. So it's just a must for all modern caravans. Okay, the jockey wheel, not standard. Uh, but I love it. Uh, it stays on all the time. It's a matter of pulling the lever and all these little holes, uh, they click into position so it doesn't matter what height your, your van's parked at, you'll find a height, you put a handle on there, you wind it up. Uh, yeah, it's so easy. Uh, instead of having the jockey wheel that you have to uh, take off or you know click into place. And it's out, out the way. Uh, we've done a little bit of four wheel driving with it but it hasn't hit so far. So uh, the jury's out on that one, but so far, thumbs up. Let's move on to the toolbox. Uh, I must say this is probably, the toolbox is probably something, we actually saw the van first at a four x four show in Brisbane, um, and the toolbox literally is like none other. So this is probably uh, my favorite bit of the van. So in here, we've got your first compartment. Got your gas cylinders, uh, two four kilo gas, um, gas cylinders. It's also got two 20 liter uh, jerry cans. Now at the moment because we're at Stratty, limited water, I've got 20 litres of water or 40 litres of water in there. Um, this here, it looks a bit confusing uh, but it's not. It's super easy. The Vision has three water tanks. They're two by 90 litre water tanks and you've got one grey water tank. How big is your grey water tank? Uh, 85 litres. Okay. So it's a simple matter of when you fill it up. Uh, this line here goes to your, when you fill it up from mains water and you turn that on and it depends which tank you want to fill you just flick a, a, switch, uh, a switch so I want to fill up tank one I flick that to tank one and turn your water on tank one will fill up and there is a little there is a little overflow which the water comes out of and then you know your tanks full and then you go on to two and three so obviously when you're camping if you're only going for a short while you don't want to put um, you know, 270 litres, uh, which weighs a fair bit, so you just fill up a tank. Or if you're going for an extended stay, you fill up your three tanks and away you go. So we've got this little box here inside, just push the button. You've got uh, hot and cold water. And uh, what I normally do, I just keep a little bit of a hose in there. I plug it in and then, you know, if you want to fill up something. Okay, next we come to our Weber Q barbecue slide. It's really well thought out. You slide it out and you've got your Weber. It comes with a base plate, uh, which is a really good idea. So when you're finished, you just pick it up, you put it in, and then you slide it shut, and away you go. Now I'll show you something that I've made, and this secures your Weber barbecue so that on rough terrain, uh, it stays exactly where you want it to stay. So all I've done is I've secured the Weber barbecue to the base plate using some stainless steel uh, fixes uh, and then what I've done is I've drilled through the stainless steel through the base plate put some nut certs in and I've got some Little screws tighten it down and so there's no hockey straps. There's no nothing that can come loose Brilliant heaps of storage. We've got a, a slide to keep all my Weber uh, Accessories in there. You got this that goes right through the other side I keep ten poles maybe fishing poles a bit of whatever on top, I've opted for the extra wood box. Um, on top there, I keep all my firewood. I've got some uh, a shovel holder there. I'll put some max tracks on there or whatever you want to put on there. Let's go to the other side, check it out. All right, on this side, I've got another hot and cold water shower. 
Um, I put a, bit, a little pop-up tent, so if you want to have just have a swim at the beach, hop in the tent without going in the van and hose off with some, uh, some cold water or hot. This slide here, open up the box, and I usually put a Jenny in there uh, if we're going off-grid for any amount of time. Uh, but this weekend I've just got some storage of um, whatnots in there. Another fridge slide, a um, few accessories in there, whatever you want to put in there. Plenty of storage, I love it. Also inside this box, you've got an outlet here for an air fitting. Now the Vision does have its own compressor. Uh, it does a few things, it pumps up the airbags, but what it can do is uh, pump up your tyres as well. So that's a great little feature. And inside there, there's your electric brakes, uh, disc brakes. Uh, so you've got your reservoir and some electrical stuff in there as well. Okay, we've got a huge storage compartment. Let's have a look at this one. Right in there. I've got all my gear packed in there. It's all marked. Now I opted for a, a uh, partition between the fridge. That goes all the way through so that I can store up against that partition. So if you're thinking of that, this is a great option to have. Okay, as you can see walking down the side, I've opted for the indigenous artwork on the side. Uh, it really pops. It sets the van apart uh, from the from the other models. And also, I really uh, do appreciate that the Indigenous uh, community, uh, a donation goes to helping the, uh, the young kids get jobs as well, employment agencies. So it's all a good cause. And let's talk wheels. Okay, we've got our Mickey Thompson's 33 inch. Uh, quite aggressive month terrain. And you've got your 17 inch rims. Um, under there, you've got your ventilated disc brakes. Amazing stopping capabilities. Under your suspension, you've got airbags. You've got uh, dual shock absorbers, independent suspension, obviously. Uh, moving along right here on the side of the van, you've got your 240 inlet uh, for your caravan parks and charging, uh, charging the battery. You've got an antenna for your, air, for your TV, if you opt out for a, uh, a TV inside. Here, you've got your gray, law, gray water tank uh, outlet. So it's just a simple matter of turning that, grey water runs out or you stick a black hose on it wherever you want. Underneath here let's talk chassis. You've got a, a 250mm by 50mm solid chassis which is one of the reasons why I really picked this van. Uh, it's hot tip galvanised so uh, any, like we're on the beach now and I'm not concerned at all, there'll be no rust. It's a really thick galvanised coating made in Toowoomba so it's Australian made. Uh, it is Amazing. All right, at the back of the vision, we've got two two spares. Um, obviously, they're Mickey Thompson, 33 and same as the tyres. Uh, as you see up on the roof there, you can see that you've got a winch point. Now, these tyres can be quite heavy, so uh, they thought of everything, and old guys like me, put a pulley up there, and you can, uh, under your wheel, winch it up, winch it down on the ground if you need to uh, replace the, the tyre at some stage. I do a bit of bike riding, so I've made up a, uh, a bike rack. Uh, the bike rack goes under there. Made a solid down, solid bit of steel down there, so it's as solid as a rock. Uh, I can put a couple of bikes on the back, and we can go for a mountain bike ride when we uh, get to a park. Now the chassis is a complete chassis. Uh, your wheels don't drop down, uh, so you've got no problem about braking or anything like that. Complete chassis, straight up to the up to that, which uh, supports your wheels. Here you've got your Anderson for solar recovery points. You got one each side of your chassis rail. Uh, if you do get into trouble or pulling out someone, there you go, solid as a rock. Now with every caravan, uh, you've got four stabilizers, two at the front, two at the back. All I do is carry an impact 19 mil, put it in, buzz it up, quick and easy, done. Okay, let's move to the living area of the van, outdoors. First of all, we've got the fridge. Nice fridge slide again. Little things like that. You don't have to have your two hands to push down. They've joined them together. One hand operation pulls it out. I've got the Evercool. It's a 65 litre fridge. Uh, it's not a huge fridge, but we opted out for the, the smaller fridge. Uh, love the Evercool. Australian made again, uh, bomb proof. And what can you have um, in the fridge side? What size can it go to? Uh, listen, you put an 85 litre in. Um, I think someone's even put a bigger fridge in, but listen, it's. It's a stack of room. As you can see, the drawer goes all the way back to the uh, there. So I've got four gauges. We've got our tank, one, two, and three. And then we've got our wastewater tank. So you can quite easily tell when you're empty, when you're full, and when your waste is full. To go around the other side where we showed you, do the ball tap, let it go. All right, our kitchen folds away really nicely. 
unhinges, straight slides in. We've got a three hob stove made by Dometic. Probably a little bit slow burning to be honest. Next up, we've got our sink. Hot cold water plumbed to the sink. Uh, I still opt out for a, uh, a little dish in there. Uh, and then I just pick it up, throw the water out, and um, just like that. But you do have a sink with a plug there if you want that. Now it's easy to connect the gas. We've just got a bayonet fitting uh, for your three burner hob. And then right across there, We've got another bayonet fitting for your WebEQ barbecue. We've got the uh, pantry, slide out pantry. Once again, one hand operation, pulls out. It's absolutely huge. Uh, we've got uh, three of these uh, made in Australia, Undercover Australia they're called, and I love them. They've got uh, a crate inside. They've got clear plastic so you can clearly see what food's in there. So I'll put that, slide that in, easy operation. Under here you've got your one of your control panels. So your first one, or first three are for your lights. Uh, there's lights all around the van, so easy to see at night. Next one is your roof. Uh, your roof pops up, you've got four rams, hydraulic rams. Uh, listen, to be honest, it's a bit slow. You push it up and you just wait there a couple of minutes and uh, your roof goes up, but really simple operation. The rams of the roof are super strong. I mean, you can put a tinny up there or whatever you want up there and there's still heaps of power. Those rams are amazing. No problem at all. Next, you've got uh, left and right hand side airbags. So really, I mean, you can't get better than airbags for leveling the van. Um, it's only on if you're really a really steep slope that you've got to put something under your wheels. But nine times out of 10, you just adjust your van by using your airbags. Amazing. Cigarette lighters, you've got a cigarette lighter there for any appliance. And then you've got your USB, uh, which you can charge your phones and uh, most chargeable items can, can go in there now. So they've thought of absolutely everything. I've opted for an extension on our warning. It's made from Extend Outdoors. To be honest, it's a little tricky to put up, but once it's up, it's amazing. It covers the web of a barbecue, covers you from the elements, the sun, the rain, uh, if you're unlucky to be out in the rain. Aussie Traveller, anti-flap kit, must have. It's uh, really solid. Once you put your awning up, it uh, clamps it all down. Any amount of wind, uh, it doesn't flap, so it's really good. I've put in a drifter uh, light bar, so it extends right from the base of the awning to the end, and you've got an LED uh, dual coloured. You've got your orange and your white for your, your cooking end to keep the mozzies away. At the end, I've opted for the, the tie down, uh, which I actually made. Come and have a look. All I've done is put a bit of um, climbing rope. You've got some carabiners there, ties down, and um, it's not going anywhere. I think that's all for the outside. How about we have a look inside? Now on the inside of the van, one of the things I really love about is the space. It looks amazing, looks big, and it's white. It looks clean. Uh, the ceiling is white, and one of the good things about that is it's reflective. So it actually looks bigger than it is. One of the big things that clutters the inside of the van is a table. Vision has solved this problem by the table as a slide. So it slides out and then lifts up. When you don't want your table, you push it down. You fit four people, two aside, you got your leather chairs, sit down, they are super comfy as well. The bed, we've got a king size bed, real comfortable, good night's sleep. At the head of the bed, you got two reading lights, uh, which are really good. You like to read at night like I do, bang, you're covered for. Beside me here, we've got your two Sirocco fans, and one thing I want to add is your cross ventilation for your windows. Now there is heaps of windows in this van. Windows down below, the top opens up, you've got windows all around, all fly screen, no midges, and uh, a good night's sleep with heaps of breeze. And like I said, they're all fly screen, they're midgy proof. If you're in a high midgy area like we are at Stratty at the moment, no midges get through. If you want darkness, simply pull that up. You've got privacy screens on all your windows. Under the bed, if you lift up this, you've got a huge big compartment. Under the bed, you've got two, two compartments either side. You can store whatever you want there. Tall and shower, hot and cold water plumbed, obviously. Shower rows, you've got a toilet there. It is a composting toilet. And uh, listen, when we first got it, I was pretty skeptical. But now having had the van for a couple of months, uh, wouldn't be, wouldn't use anything else. No chemicals, environmental friendly. Uh, I think it's great. One thing I was a little disappointed about with Vision 
is they don't have a fly screen for their main door. So you open up the door at night time, what comes in? All your mozzies and your bugs. So what we've done, really quick fix, and it's not 100% um, right yet, but I've just gone down to Bunnings and you buy this fly screen. Double-sided tape on the top, double-sided tape down the side, and you've got yourself a fly screen. Not 100% good, but it's better than having bugs and mozzies in your caravan. Another little practical thing, you need somewhere to hang your hat, your car keys. Another Bunnings item, they're just a pump up little, uh, little hook, pump them up, they stay on the wall. Because your vision's all um, composite panel, uh, the suction cap works really well. Hang your hat up, get your hat up, keys, whatever, it's right there. I'm gonna step in here for the 12 volt because I do love the 12 volt and what is on the vision is unreal. So this is something that when we first saw it, uh, Dad and I definitely love. Boom, this just lifts up. We'll chuck that on the bed for now. So under here, we are powered by Energrive. So let me walk you through what we've got. To start with, underneath here, you won't be able to quite see it, but we've got a massive 300 amp Energrive lithium battery. So 300 amps, that's huge. We move over, we've got our DC-DC charger. So that there comes from obviously at the front when we're plugged in driving with the car, that'll charge up the battery. Plus at the back of the van where we had our solar input, that will also charge. And then we've also got three solar panels on the roof and they're 120 amps each. So with that, we've got ample going in to feed this massive lithium battery. We've also got here again from Energrive, this is for your 240. So if you rock to a caravan park, you plug it in, or if you're at home, trickle charge, make sure that your battery doesn't go flat. Everything in here is, you know, you look at the wires, everything's well made, it's put together, um, unreal. We've got our fuse box, the 240, We've got our overall cutoff and our kill switch as well. On the side here, we've got the switch for our N-Drive inverter. And we've also got our Cymarine battery monitor. Okay, we've got more storage around the front. We've got a, a granite stone, pot, uh, stone top bench, along with our sink. It's all plumbed, of course, uh, hot cold water to the sink. We've got our Bushman's uh, 110 litre fridge, which is all the rage in cannabis these days. Uh, listen, it's the first upright fridge I've had. To be honest, it's not too bad. I was a bit skeptical about it. The only thing that I don't like is the size of the freezer. We open it up. We've only got a very small freezer. Um, hence, that's why I've got the Evercool out the, out the front there, which you can have 100% fridge or 100% freezer if you wish. Moving along, we've got our switch panel here. Uh, these operates your water pump, your compressor, uh, your lights. Obviously, you've got another 240 with your a cigarette lighter or you've got your USB there for charging devices. Now the vision here is 100% wood free, uh, which means it's all composite panels, uh, so it's very well insulated. Now one of the things when we walk through, we look through a lot of caravans and the first thing I always do is look for quality build. How do I look for quality build? Is when I open up cupboards, I open up drawers, I look at the catches, I look at the, the hinges, all of those little components that will break over some time in manufacturers. Vision make all their own components, which means they make the hinges, they make the latches, they make everything that operates. And this is one of the things where I say, wow, look at that, that is good, that's quality stuff. And I'll show you why. We open up, got all our cutlery and, and plates in here, but it's 100% aluminium, which means it's solid. The catches, very well done. You can feel the quality push it in, there's no flimsing, there's no flexing, it's not going to break. So that's a little bit of a walkthrough of the Vision. Uh, as you can see, it's an unreal van. Let's go quick rapid fire though. Uh, what's some things that you like about the van? Uh, definitely the uh, the towing capability of the van. Uh, it's got disc brakes. That for me is a must. Once you've driven a van uh, with disc brakes, you just don't go back. It is so smooth in operation. Uh, we're running a BT50, it's got the, the tow Pro. Red Arc Tow Pro in there. As soon as you put your foot on the brake, it is smooth operation until you stop. You can bang your foot down really hard, even on a dirt road or undulating road, and bang, that van is going to stop uh, real smooth. So that is a big plus. Brilliant. I can attest to that. I have done a few trips towing this van in the BT50 up the coast, and it tows like an absolute dream. Um, maybe two other things that you like about it? Uh, just the comfort. It is amazing, like you go home, there's two things I always say about camping, you want a good fridge and you want a good bed. 
and both of these you've got your Bushmans, you've got your Evercool on the outside, they're great. Your bed, you sleep like a log until the sun comes up. Amazing. So, some nitty gritties. Obviously, everyone's like, yeah, yeah, okay, you love the vision. Yep, sure. Um, and I'm, I know what everyone at home wants to know. What don't you like about the vision? Surely there's a couple of things. Uh, listen, I'm used to towing, towing camp trailers. So, uh, we had an Australian off road uh, Odyssey before this. And obviously, it's a lot lighter. So, I was a bit hesitant about getting the vision because. Yep. I know that they're a solid van, but hey, what about the weight? It's just over the two ton dry. And once you put your, if you fill your three tanks up and you put your wood in, you put your clothes, your food, blah, 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 it does get up. So, you know, I've got a new BT50 towing it. It tows it fine, but for me, I'm used to a cam trailer. So to step up a little bit more weight, it's just that, am I gonna make it over this sand dune or not? You know, it's just one of those experience things that I'll get used to. Yep. And, um, you yeah, know, we've done this trip. I know I can do it. So, uh, yeah, happy days. Fantastic. Well, that is the vision from Sunseeker. So hopefully you enjoyed this little recap video. Uh, thank you for walking us through. I'm trying to get him to lend it to uh, Meg and I. Um, <laughs> but that'll happen all in, all in due time. Uh, but no, I appreciate it. And if you stuck around to the end, thanks for watching. See you later. Cheers.